Welcome to Today Work On, and guess what? We have something else to work on. Like, I don't have enough stuff to work on. 14 months ago, we ordered a Wave Runner by Yamaha, and it finally came in last Monday. The timing wasn't great because it's October going into November, but it's in, and we have 10 days to buy it. Today is day 10. I'm going to pick it up now. It's a Cruisers FXHO, not supercharged. This is our first Wave Runner. Never had one before. It's kind of like the Cadillac of Wave Runners. We wanted something where we could tow the kids and something where it would be comfy to take the kids on the Wave Runner. So it is a big girl. It's really big. I'll show you a picture right now of it. We went with like the nice sky blue with the yellow. It looks great. So I'm gonna go pick it up now and uh, let's see what happens. I'm super excited. I think they're gonna go over the Wave Runner a little bit. So let me, uh, let me stop talking and let's go to the uh, Wave Runner shop. Deal is done, paid out. Let's go home and check this bad boy out. This is your seating position on the Wave Runner. It has all these cool options. We got cruise, no wake. We have a trim. This is how you clip on. So you start and then that goes onto your wrist. That's the digital display. I'll get to that in a second. These are cup holders or you could put speakers in here. I think I'm gonna put speakers. You have the side view mirrors. That'll be nice when I'm pulling the kids on the back of the tube. You do have some storage right here. So this is what the lanyard was in. It's pretty deep. And then over here, you got some USBs. Boom, boom. Right here, I think they light up as well. This right here is very important. This is your washout in the back of the wave runner. I'll go over that in a minute. This is your start, stop, speed adjust. This is your throttle right here. This is your brake right here. So this has a brake system. Let's uh, also, we have audio right here. Bluetooth, then it connects. I'll get into that in a minute. This tilts, so it tilts up and down. So you could get comfy on the Wave Runner. Like I said, this is the most advanced Wave Runner I've ever had. Right here, we get into this. It's a whole nother huge compartment. It's a bunch of stuff. We put the fire extinguisher there. Let's close that. Let's get to the back of the Wave Runner and then I'll turn it on. This is the back of the Wave Runner and something that it's really cool is the step. So you, you have a step to get onto the Wave Runner and they have a bunch of different options that you can do on the back of this. And remember, this is a 2023. That's the impeller in there, you can see that. Right over here is that little water jet that shoots up into the air. You could disconnect this if you want and keep it on. I'm gonna have the option to do both. Over here, this is the brake mechanism. This piece right here, it flaps down and it pushes the water back. Pretty, pretty nifty. Right here we have the washout. So you want to screw this and then you hook it onto a hose and then you run it through. So that's pretty straightforward. It's actually also a little place you could probably store a few little things, which is nice. There's a lot of storage on this Wave Runner. To the front, we have these little holes that get rid of the water, so make sure those are always clean. These are the speakers right here. Right here is the gas. This doesn't have much gas in it at all. So I'm gonna have to throw some gas in it. Three clicks. And then the bottom over here is we have where we attach the Wave Runner to the trailer, which is nice. It's a good looking Wave Runner. So let's, uh, let's start it up. It says Yamaha, revs your heart. Con confirm. That's because there's no gas in it. There's an alarm that goes off. Speed is by GPS, obviously, since there's no GPS signal, but 
If we get into all, this is touch screen. You also can touch it through the connects right here. Back, okay, connects. But first option is home, which shows your trim. And your trim is right here. You can see it goes up and down. It gives you 12, 12.2 volts. I have to plug this into a trickle charger. Right here is the GPS map. Get maps, I have to scan the QR code. I'll do that in the, in the spring. And then I'm gonna continue because also we have the trip information, which is cool. Your fuel rate, fuel use, fuel average. Right here is your drive control. You could have auto trim. And then you have your music, which my Bluetooth was connected. I just shut it off. And then you have all your settings, which is pretty impressive. And then you, you could set it up where you can lock the actual Wave Runner. And I'm not gonna do that yet. So let's start it up and see how it sounds. No water running through it, but let's shut it off. So that's basically it. I can't wait to get going on this wave runner. So let me, uh, we'll recap the video. Well, that's the sneak peek preview on a 2023 Yamaha wave runner. Right now, obviously, it's just sitting here in the leaves. I think on top speed, the top set around 62, 63 miles an hour. I heard it's super comfy to drive on the water and it's gonna be nice to be ripping around everywhere in the Potomac and wherever else we take it. The reason why, if we, if we take a trip somewhere to anywhere, we could just trailer it with one of the trucks. It's pretty awesome. I'm excited for the kids. I'm excited for us. I'm excited for our friends to use it. And that's it for this video. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like it. If you want to see more Wave Runner videos, please subscribe. If you have any questions about the 2023, not many changes from the 2022, uh, ask in the comments. Again, and also, you know what I want to know? How long have you been waiting for this Wave Runner? We waited 14 months for it. I'm not sure if things are getting uh, better out there, but I know a lot of orders were canceled. So just let me know in the comments. And again, we're super excited. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.